Hi, welcome to another video. Today we are going to install a Steam game, specifically GTA 5, on a second SSD. So we have this Acer Aspire 5 Slim laptop and we added an SSD to it, specifically a Lexar 256GB SSD. So we did assign it the letter D. So keep that in mind, you want to know what letter you assign your SSD as, just to make it easier. Now we want to open up Steam. And then I'm going to click on the upper left corner. So this will give us our settings option. So I'm going to click settings. And then we have our settings here. And then under in downloads, we want to go to our Steam library folders. Click that. You can see our primary SSD, which definitely does not have enough free space for GTA 5, which takes up like almost 87 gigabytes at least. So now we want to click add library folder and then you can see the letter D. So we did assign our Lexar SSD as letter D so I'm going to pick that. So you want to know what letter you assign your um, second SSD as just in case. Now I click new folder. So we're going to create a new folder in our second SSD. And I'm just going to name it something like something easy for us to identify. So I'm just going to go Steam Library Lexar SSD. Oh, by the way, so this was a uh, request in the comments. So that's why we're doing this video. They specifically wanted GTA 5 roleplay, but unfortunately, it's too complicated for me. So now that we have that, we have our second folder for the um, Steam library Lexar SSD. We can click select and then we can close it out. So we already have our folder here. So you can see that we have a lot of space available. So GTA 5 is not going to be a problem at all. So I'm going to close that. All right. So the next step is we want to click OK. Now we want to go to our library. So I'm going to click library and then we are going to download GTA 5. So I'm going to click GTA 5. I'm going to do install. So it's just going to install on this machine. And then I'm going to create a desktop shortcut too to make it easier for me. So you can see the disk space required. And then I'm going to select our folder that we created the Steam library Lexar SSD. And then I'm going to click next. And then it's going to create, well, it's going to allocate the space as you can see right there. So once that is done, you might see something pop out if you have updates on your Steam account or stuff that you have to download. So you might get queued, but it really depends. So for me, I had some stuff queued since it's been a while since I've been Steam on this computer. So the download got queued, but not a big deal. I just click finish and then it will continue downloading once the other updates and downloads have been done. So it's going to show something like this. So now it's downloading GTA 5. And yeah, you just wait, let it finish downloading, and then once it's ready to go, you, you can just press play. Or um, let me close this out and show you guys. So I, we did create the desktop shortcut, just so that you guys can see that you can, you can totally do that to make it easier. Now for something like GTA 5, you might need a Rockstar launcher. For other games, you might not, or you might have a different launcher like Origins or something. So it really depends. So just letting you know, it depends on the Steam game, you might need to install a launcher of some sort. Like for this, I'm going to install the Rockstar launcher on the second SSD again. And then um, it took up about one gigabyte of space. So once that's installed, the game should launch and you should be good to go. You can stick around if you want. So I just wanted to make sure I tested the game for the rest of the video. You know, what? one funny thing about this is when I was testing it, um, you're going to see that the resolution on the uh, game when I first opened it up was just like not even full screen. So 
It's going to enable my cloud saves. At this point, we are just like checking the settings and stuff. So you can see that my uh, thing did not show up full screen. So I, I went into settings and I had to change that. It might not be the case with your Steam. You know, it could be different. It probably depends on the computer too. So for me, I had to go to graphics and change mine to uh, 1920 by 1080p. So pretty cool stuff. I mean, let me know if you guys have any questions, but uh, thank you for watching. Take it easy.